All right, our third lightning talk is gonna be Alan King from the IRATS Consortium. We're gonna make him type live on screen. He's gonna show a demo of a, a repository that we have called IRATS Demo. It's a good name. Go for okay. it, Alan. Yeah. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Great. Great. Um, so essentially what we've got here is a Docker Compose file with, uh, I forget how many different services attached to it, but what we're going to do is run Docker Compose up on it. Um, over here, I've got my URL for the uh, repo, if you want to go check it out. Um, up here, I've got htop, so that you can watch my meaty work machine get pegged by this, but here we go. So we hit enter, and what it's going to do is stand up, uh, wait for this to settle down a little bit. Um, okay, so we've got a catalog provider, a client, Metalinks, Davrods, um, the audit plugin, uh, Metalinks, an ingest job, as well as uh, NFS rods. Um, and they are all running as separate containers on my computer. And now we're going to run over to this window. Um, actually, you can see uh, down here in our output all of these services. We're waiting on iRods to stand up, that is the catalog provider. Um, and then once it had, everything should have stood up. So here we've got uh, Metalinks running. So we'll just do rods rods because everyone knows that. Um, then over here. So we, we can have only, a, we, we can only see your terminal. You oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have done a full screen. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's change that. You've got six minutes left. No problem. You're ahead of time. Okay. Um, how about now? Yes, we can see a okay. Kibana web page. Yep. Great. So we've got our Kibana dashboard, which I'm not going to run through the audit plugin training right now, but this would allow you to do something like that. Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, Chrome is upset with my use of rods rods, but anyway, um, so inside of the catalog provider, we've got, um, a landing zone collection already made. And the, uh, that's basically going to be a demo of the um, uh, landing zone use case for the automated ingest capability, which uh, you can go see on the slides from the training last year. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm not going to run through everything here, but uh, that's essentially what it is. Um, another thing you can do is uh, uh, you can type out the specific services you want to run. So if you don't have 40 threads on your machine and 256 gigs of RAM, uh, what you can do is, you know, chop it down to just the provider and say Metalinks if you just wanted to see those two pieces. And that's about it. Would you like to uh, jump into one of those containers and type some IRODs just to show oh, that it's... Right, sure. I guess that, that makes I mean, you can, you can do that and then, and then show that it's in, you know, it's in Metalinks, it's in other things. Uh, so let's hop in the client. This is essentially just I commands. Um, oops. So if we I init, I'm rods. So it's already been pre-configured to point at the provider, but you can obviously change all this stuff uh, if you like playing with it. Um, so yeah, there's the I commands. Uh, we can hop inside of which one? You know, I don't remember how to use NFS rods with this demo, and I don't know that we <laughs> wrote it down. So no, that's that's okay. You don't have to remember that right now. Uh, I, I don't know what else to show. To be perfectly well, honest. you can you can put a put a file and then make it show up and show that it's in the other one. <laughs> the classic, classic demo. All right, so uh, we've got a landing zone that it's created here um, as part of the compose file. So. It's a, uh, a volume mount. Um, hmm, maybe if I hop inside the client. Sorry, I should have um, looked at this a little bit more before this, because <laughs> it's been a while since I've used it. Um, oh, it's not in here. OK. So uh, let's just, uh, excuse me, sorry. It's not going to let me show my chat. <laughs> My bad. There we are. Okay, I have two minute warning for real on my screen right now. Um, 
um, but let's see. Let's just, oops, excuse me. Let's copy um, aptive.py into <laughs> the landing zone. I have to do sudo because Docker volumes. Um, so we hop back into here. Uh, so aptive.py has been picked up in the landing zone collection. Um, and if we go over to Metalinks, we can also see it in here. Um, and here's some info. <laughs> I don't know anything about Metalinks, nope, to be honest, great. but uh, here you go. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's so, so we stood up a bunch of services uh, managed by Docker Compose, uh, showed that it took a big machine, even about a minute to stand it all up. And without all of that, it's going to, you know, if you don't have a big machine, it will take, you will slaughter your machine for a while. So this is a lot of stuff. So if you stand up other service, smaller number of services, this still might be useful for you. You can pare it down easily just by commenting things out of the um, Docker Compose config or uh, like Alan showed, uh, only launching the services you want. But this has also been tested with uh, Docker Desktop for Windows. So it's that's right. Also it works has, there. That's right. It ran on Windows 10. That's right. Thank you, sir.